Hey guys, this is Nicholas Light, and today we are um, listing things that what we were just basically uh, going over some stuff, and we wanted to like you know say what our opinions on how Arrow's been Arrow going. stuff, yeah, it's Arrow like stuff, Arrow. considering it's about to go on break just like the Flash did until March 18th. So, but yeah, and then Gotham is gonna do its own thing, but we're just gonna do our thoughts on Arrow so far. Um, so I know John Diggles apparently is supposed to be Green Lantern. What do you guys oh, think on that's, that? Oh, that was... Yeah, yeah, actually, I've heard that the producers were asked about that, and they just, like, you can't say anything about that. Wait, wait, wait. So, it's... Big it's one would be Green yeah. Arrow. I mean, Lantern. Yeah, Green Lantern. Yeah, the uh, John Stewart. John Stewart Green Lantern, not Hal Jordan. Why would they do that? I don't know. That's, it, it well, would no, be but that... that yeah, I know that. That's kind of why people are assuming it's not real because it would kind of. I've heard some people say, you know, he. Why would he be with Arrow? Why would he, why would he be with Green Arrow anymore if he has like you know the most powerful weapon in the universe? Well, I think um. You know, he would just was. Maybe he get maybe he'd get a spinoff show. Yeah, like if he's gonna stay like, with Oliver and be his partner, because that's gonna look weird as hell. Or is he mm -hmm. gonna like? move to a new city. Well, maybe... maybe well, they Coast City has been referenced a lot. Yeah, maybe, maybe they team up and be called the Green Team. <laughs> well, they've, they've done that in comics. <laughs> they've done that in comics. Where Green Arrow and Green yeah. Lantern have their own thing. Um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be best friends. Like, Green, Air Green Lantern was the one who was with Green Arrow when he, found, when he walked in on... Roy doing heroin. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was about to say too. Um, that was one. Of, I think that was when like drugs were being coming controversial. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think personally, I think I would, I would kind of like it, but then I wouldn't kind of because I know I think Arrow it should have two more seasons to go because I, I think while looking at the flash, I noticed some of those flashbacks. Um, Oliver, he, he says, like, okay, my first year on the island, and he explains the second year, and then he explains the third year. He only explains what year he's been in, maybe one episode each season. And I think this is the third year he's been missing. Um, so I think when, when four and five come around, when, when four and five come around, the Justice League movie is probably going to be, already be taking place, but I don't think it would have a Green Lantern. I think if it has a Green Lantern... They're only kind of confused because I know they have a flash ready and everything, but I don't. I don't know. I think. Yeah. I think they might hold off on that I, idea because they don't want to confuse the viewers. But I don't know. Yeah. I won't be surprised if Arrow ended around season five, but I definitely don't think it'll be because they ran out of flashbacks. Because no. I definitely flash the flashbacks were one of the like one of like my number two highlight from season one. They were so awesome to me, and then they, I kind of lost interest when they started going to Hong Kong and stuff, so I just, I found that boring, but I feel like they can, if Arrow can't go on without their flashbacks, then I don't think, I, I think it's kind of, I think that shows something about its, you know, the strength of the show's plot, if it can't go on without referencing, you know, something that happened ten years ago or five years ago. Yeah. Well, because I know, like, see, it's going to be, he'll probably explain, I think they're just trying to explain, like, what happened on those five years to Oliver and how it relates to every single episode. Because, you know, the flashbacks relate to, you know, to the end episode entirely. But I'm not, I'm not saying, like, okay, once they run on the flashbacks, then there's no more Arrow. I think the way they're, I think just the way how they they had their plot writing and stuff, I think that's just how they. I just think that's how they want to explain it. Like they want to explain what happens to what happens in those five years with Oliver on the island, and then what happens when he comes back five years later after he's been after he returned from the island. But considering season, I think considering the Flash will probably be on like season two or three. I think he's. I think he can. Stephen Stephen Amell could still make like crossovers or appearances or cameos on the Flash. Yeah. 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 Kind of awkward if Arrow ended and Flash kept going. Yeah, that'd like, be weird. Yeah, you know, like you'd be like, oh, you know, Oliver was doing this, and you're like, oh, I'm, it's like you feel like you missed out on something. 
Yeah. Well, like, they, they, they have to end Arrow with something like, you know, Oliver retiring. I think it would, it would either have to end with Oliver retiring or him dying. Which I don't think they're yeah, gonna go with him dying. He dies and like, you know, someone but, else takes they, place. Whether that be they, they be, Well, I think. Yeah. I, well, spoilers. If you guys don't want to hear it, just take out your earphones or mute me. <laughs> um, I mute was video and go watch Arrow. I was looking on um, Tumblr the other day and I saw that um, Arrow had a. Had a um, someone took pictures of one of the Arrow episodes, and Roy was wearing the um, Green Arrow suit, but Green Arrow was fighting him. So I think Roy might, oh. yeah. So I, I might I might relate to something like that, or I don't know. Yeah. By the way, I you know I know I am kind of I always bring up this is kind of related, but I, I always seem to bring up random stuff. Do you do, what do you what do your guys' opinion on? The Roy character, or or Speedy, or Arsenal, or whatever. I like I like the version they're going with. Yeah, I like, I like the suit especially. Yeah, I I think he's like he was a good character. I think in season two and you know season one, but I feel I I think for a, like such a big character like people when Arrow first started I'm sure a lot of Green Arrow fans were thinking oh when are they gonna bring on Speedy when when are they gonna bring on uh, you know Green Arrow sidekick I feel like now that he's finally Arsenal or you know whatever they call it, I know they call him Arsenal but or Speedy whatever you want to call him. I feel like he plays a very very minor role. He barely he he rarely ever gets a line or he does get a line but he he normally only gets maybe three and whenever he like when when he told Oliver that he's being a dick Oliver just looked at him like how dare you you're not allowed to speak because he's normally just silent the whole time that I, that's what I don't like about him I wish he for such a big character such a big character from the comics to bring in he's very unimportant like he like Felicity or Diggle, a character that they made up for the show, plays a more important role role than his sidekick. That's my only yeah. gripe with Air well, one of my only gripes with Arrow. Uh what about the Adam? Oh I'm Adam. Well I'll I'll let I'll let you go, Nemesis. Hmm? I said I'll let you go since I'm I've been talking nonstop. I think Adam his suit is a bit goofy. I mean, if you look at that promo, it looks right. I have, it looks a bit goofy, but um, I like the Ray Palmer character. He's like really funny, you know. Like I'm in support of him getting his own show, you know. I'm mm -hmm. up for that. I'll watch that. But the outfit looks, eh, I don't know. Like I wouldn't take it seriously. Like, he's out there fighting criminals. Like, he's, like, in red and blue. I don't know. I, I think, when I first saw... Well, I think we need... I think since Arrow, they made Green Arrow such a brooding... They made him such, like, a Batman clone, like a brooding character. And if they want to do that, fine. You know, they did that, and it works out for the show. It works out for what, you know, a modern version. But I feel like we do... I am kind of tired of the whole, you know, head hanging low... Uh, Give me the name of whatever, and like him, I, I kind of do. I think this show needs, other than the Flash, because he only makes a couple cameos. We need uh something to look at and just say, you know, that's nice. That's more similar to the comics. I like that, especially since Arrow suit is just, you know, green, you know, green leather and nothing else really. He Green Arrow doesn't really have much of a costume, does he? Just wears like green yeah, leather and then a hood. Kind of wears like a hoodie with a little bit of leather on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think didn't the Flash I, I, or Cisco give him a new suit on the uh, Flash versus Arrow episode? Yeah. Since, yeah, since he is like Green Arrow, they can't really. Yeah, it would be a little silly to have like a simulated like Arrow on his chest or on his belt, but just you know they don't have to give him a symbol. 
but give them something to make them stand out a little bit. Because that's basically what they did with the original Green Arrow costume. Is they since since his character since his costume is basically just all green, they kind of removed some of the costume, made him show low or not even like show skin like on his arms or, or something, just kind of add some texture to it because it always just looks like flat, bland, boring, just you know just really it's it's not cool it's not you know it's not interesting to look at really it's just very plain and boring. They gave him those, like, weird green arm pads. I don't know why I can't take those seriously. Wait, in Arrow? Green arm pads? No, like, in the comics, Green Arrow, he has, like, on his um, arms, he has, like, those little soft pads, like, on the um, top of his arm and on, under it, you know? Like, those weird things. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Sure. Like, from the Injustice. From the Injustice, where Green Arrow has little things on there. Um, yeah, oh, like, that? Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I think, I think that's a little bit, you know, I, I think, you know, something does have to be, in order for something to re- be realistic, I don't think it has to be dark and, you know, like dark colors and bland, you know, kind of like Man of Steel, they add, they, to make it more realistic, they kind of just took away part of the costume, like they took away, yeah, I, I'm right, almost, okay. they took away the belt, I'm okay with taking away the underwear because that's, you know, not the greatest thing. And they took away the Superman in, I think is in a couple of versions he had like red gloves. They took away those, and you know, but they I, took away I the, uh, yellow feel logo like logo the cape. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I, I never liked that. Yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan of that either. I thought it was kind of pretty dumb because it was like. You have the symbol. You have the symbol on your chest, and then you have it on your back. Like, I think we understand. Like, I, I, I found it. I, yeah, I found it funny because it was like um, the college humor one where Batman and Superman try to team up. They're like, uh, oh, he's, he, yeah, he's like, oh. so that stands for hope, or does this stand for? And he's like pointing the middle finger. So does this stand I, for gratitude? Oh, I I hope that was funny. It starts with an H, dumbass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I really hated that. Like. S means hope on his planet. That makes no sense to me. No, but it's not. I think S it was kind of a symbol because I know, um, in the Man of Steel movie, they have um Kryptonian codes, and you're supposed to crack them or something. And I don't think they've been cracked yet. But at Walmart, they're supposed to do something with the codes, and you would like find this like code. It was about to be. It was about the DC movie universe or something. And I don't know if it's been cracked yet or not. But I remember um, hearing it, and it was like supposed to be this huge thing with Walmart that Walmart was doing. I don't remember. I think a lot of people got confused when Superman, or when, you know, Clark Kent, Man of Steel, when he said uh, it stands for hope. He doesn't actually mean S stands for hope. He's saying that that symbol is a Kryptonian symbol. It just happens to be shaped like an S. It doesn't. It's not an S on their planet. They don't have the same alphabet as us. They don't even speak speak English. In Man of Steel, those, you know, they, they just made them speak English so that we could understand them. In real in reality, they were speaking. They have their Kryptonian own language. language. Yeah, they just made it in English so that we won't have to have to read subtitles. Yeah. So when Superman yeah. says it stands for hope, he doesn't mean, he means it represents hope. It doesn't actually S stands for hope. Yeah, yeah, I guess, if you look at it that way, so, yeah. No, it is not a different perspective, that is how it is, I am correcting you, haha. That is how they intended it to be, though, they didn't, do you really think Jack Snyder actually meant S stands for hope? I think, I think. Also, Man of Steel didn't make that up, by the way, that was in the comics, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Hmm. I think well, I think one thing I find funny is how the Adam from Arrow, the actor, is um the Superman Returns actor, and it's funny yeah. because like, well, if because I know Adam's gonna fly, but I hope one thing I hope is Adam? the, yeah Adam's supposed to fly. Adam. It's not supposed to, yeah the Adam's supposed to fly or something with jetpacks. I don't know, but they're not they're not trying to make him like okay his only power is shrinking. They're trying to do more. It's, it's it's supposed to be like an armored suit, like how Batman in the Dark Knight rise in the Dark Knight he had those little um 
what do you call it? The gauntlets on his arms or whatever. And he could like, yeah, he, he could shoot, yeah, he could shoot him out. They want a suit kind of like that. And, but I, I but I really him, hope. Like, like an I, thought you were him, I thought you were getting him confused with, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Adam. I think the Adam is like the one who flies and controls radiation. And Adam is the guy who shrinks and grows. Oh, I, Wait, I, 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 I don't, even, I don't even know. I mean, I, I even to be to, ironically, I have a comic right here on my comic wall, and it says the Adam, and it looks like the guy you're talking about, but it, he has the Adam, and he's it's it's shrink, the world's smallest yeah, detect. Yeah, Adam like with the Flash or something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna, what was I gonna say again? Oh yeah, I really hope that he doesn't really take much of his um superhero role from Superman. I hope he creates like a whole different persona. Of of the Adam instead of like making him more super a uh, Supermanish type of hero, not like we well, already have. Like he has like a sense of humor. Like he's kind yeah, of he, funny. Like, I think the guy's he, funny. So yeah, yeah. Just he, he's kind of like a grown up Spider Man. He's like a professor. He's smart. He's funny, but he's like in his thirties. Yeah, I just hope he doesn't like, keep that like Superman. He's like Tony Stark without the douchebag. Yeah, I I hope. Yeah. He doesn't keep that like Supermanish, Superman kind of tone when he's out in the streets. Like, say he'll rescue this old lady or something, or help her cross the street just to be like, "You're welcome, young man," and then like fly off with his jetpack or something. I really, well, he ho- I don't really want to see that. Comics. Yeah, they're just trying to make their own um, concept. Yeah. Like, I think I was watching right now too the Emergency Awesome with um, the Gotham thing. He was saying how like Gotham. Is um they're taking on their own concept, but bringing on ideas from the comics. So they're basically doing their, what Arrow's trying to do is basically take stuff from the comics, but make their own adaption to it. So like it's kind of yeah. different. It's 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 it's, it like it's it's like it's like what do you call it? It's um, it's it's uh, it honors the comic comics, but then they bring what they want. They bring what they want to bring to the show too. Yeah, actually, I think I think Arrow. A lot of people say Arrow is good at you know staying close to comics, but bringing in their own touch. I actually think they're actually not that great at like staying close to comics. I think they change a little bit too much. I think because because they don't want because for whatever reason you know they want to make him more brooding and angry and depressed and stuff, and which. I think a lot. That's a lot. That's the reason a lot of people didn't bother watching Arrow because they they just said, "Oh, you know, this isn't the Green Arrow I know." I I just really wish they would take so, a little more cues from the comics. Like I really, I really, really want them to just start calling him Green Arrow because it's so. Every time they say. Thanks, Arrow. You know, thanks, the Arrow. I just it makes it gives me a headache. And it, I want to puke. <laughs> I think that's See, like gonna be a deep, like series finale type of thing. Like on the very final episode, it's like, what are you gonna be called? Green Arrow, or like he dies, and they're like, oh, we will remember the Green Arrow, something like that. See, that that's what I think the Flash did right is that we're only you know thirteen episodes in, and they're already calling him the Flash. Like, they they, they already, before they called him the Red Streak, didn't they? And then and then he's like, no, I want my name changed. Call me the Flash. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, they they didn't really set it up all that well. I think I think that's a little they bit called stupid. Him, like, the streak. Yeah, the streak. There like, you go. If when Malcolm Merlin said when you know when Oliver. Was Oh, I don't think in like episode five he's like, oh, I don't think I should be, I don't think he should be called the Hood or the Vigilante, and then Merlin was like, how about Green Arrow? And he's like, lame. I really yeah, wish like, he just, I really wish he had just said, oh, okay, sure. Well, that would give him away. Because <laughs> like it, it's okay. No, I mean it's. Oh, I think it's okay. Like Flash showed it really, because I'm. I'm so glad they didn't stay with the streak, because th- that that's basically. If, if, I don't know if you guys know this, but to make a goofy character more modern, you take away half their name and, and add in the uh, Green Arrow, the Arrow, Black Canary, the Canary. Just it modernizes it so well. Sarah is the Canary, and Laurel is Black Canary. There's actually a well, no, I don't, there. no, I don't think they started calling her that yet. 
No, they they call it because because in because in uh, what do you call it? In Arrow season two, I think she saved Laurel for something, and they and then Lance with so they're being saved by someone called the Canary, and then um in season three when they when they finally introduced um Laurel Laurel's Canary, they were like Lance said so they're being some saved by some person in the black leather suit. They're calling her the Black Canary or something. Okay, okay, yeah. I remember in the last episode or not the last episode like in the last episode with brick in it uh when uh felicity was on the phone with detective lance she mm -hmm. was like no arrow's gone but i think i know where to find the canary and then she looked at they did call her the canary for a couple of episodes which i if that's true that they're calling her black canary now i think that's great now they just need i say i just think arrow sounds so like they're they're trying too hard to be cool. It's like, oh, the green arrow? That's stupid. The arrow. Way better. Yeah, it just sounds a little true. bit... To be honest, I call him the arrow than I do green arrow because, you know, sometimes um, there will be people who are like, isn't green arrow the guy with the ring? And it's just like, no, it's the oh, arrow. Uh, uh, I just, no, I'm thinking... So much. Like, do you see an arrow on a green lantern? Like, yeah. come on, people. Like... You like it's like it's like calling Green Lantern the Lantern and then calling you know yeah you know what I mean it's just God, like I, I can't I don't know like Batman the Bat well actually they do that and it's kind of cool but yeah no, but that is well, I I, well, I know see the, they do call him the Arrow in the comics but that's only kind of like how Harley Quinn called Batman Bats it's just kind well, of an kind abbreviated of like, a name. like he drops in a window oh it's the Arrow like that type of thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I know, I know. That's yeah, like, like, like Arkham City, like for yeah, when Emerson just just brought in like from Arkham City, it, was, it will be like Batman, like when you'll um you'll be watching, you'll be watching, yeah, you'll be watching criminals in like you know, and you'll be like, okay, that's kind of my tactics, and then when he finally dropped down and be like, it's the bat or it's the Batman or something like. The bat. That's the same thing that the Dark Knight trilogy did. They they normally called him like the Dark Knight or. Um, the, the bat freak or like, you know, something like that. But they still, every once in a while, like James, like James Gordon, James Gordon would say he is the Batman. And they, like, they, they at least let us know that this is his proper name. They just sometimes call him, oh, the, you know, the bat freak or, or like how when Scarecrow calls him the bat man. It's yeah. just kind of. Yeah, like War One of Thugs say the Bat. It's just kind of, a, kind of a nickname, even though technically Batman would be his nickname. I just, I, I know, I know it's a really stupid thing to get upset about that they don't. That's just, it's just you know, taking away the word green. Just, I don't know. I have a problem with the name the Arrow. To be honest, I think I kind of like the hood the better, but it kind of like referenced like. You would have to reference kind of like you would have to like be confused with Red Hood or something. Yeah, the the hood part is I I think well, I think the hood part is a lot better than the the Robin Hood style cap he used to wear in the comics and like Just League Unlimited. Yeah. Okay, so. But I think... if they, yeah, if they were trying to go with a Robin Hood approach, mm -hmm. then I guess it, it could work in a way, maybe. But it wouldn't do well at hiding his face. Yeah, I, 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 there's actually one episode where Arrow, he, um, the guy who went, you couldn't cover up your, you couldn't conceal your identity, even you put grease oil on your face, and I was like, oh, that's a reference to what he did in season one. Yeah. And then when he finally got yeah, the mask. Yeah, he dealt with the trick. Yeah, I kind of, I, I, I like that. I was like, that's that. That was pretty cool. Like, I think that, like, okay, yeah. he got, you know, know, they're they're showing where he got the ideas of the costume, and you know, that that's what I like about Arrow. I think. About how they, how they develop characters, how they take time to develop. Like Roy has been in has been in Arrow since season two, but he didn't become Speedy or Red Arrow until the beginning of season three. I, I do I do like that when they kind of had have subtle little hints in there like that. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard I've heard from certain sources that like every single scene where Barry Allen is not in the Flash suit, he is wearing red somewheres, or he's wearing red and yellow somewheres on his clothing. Or I think I've maybe heard the same thing as Green Arrow, or The Arrow. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just kind of a little, 
you know, wink to the camera kind of moment, or when uh, Roy wore the red hood for all of season two, never changed clothes, just wore that. Thing. I thought that was pretty stupid. That, like, that was... like, I knew there, like, I knew they were trying to hit like he's gonna become Red Arrow later, but like, don't make him wear like the entire red red hoodie for the entire season. Like, I know he's he was broken all, but just don't don't make him wear that kind of stuff. Like, make him. Make him like Roy, how Roy would look, you know? Well, well he was kind of like half homeless. So yeah. It, it like, but, but once he started kind of like, you know, showing up, like training with Oliver, he probably should have started like changing clothes a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was, it's kind of like cartoons, like Family Guy or, you know, it's the Simpsons, like shows like that, where they never change clothes. Every single episode is the same outfit. Yeah. Oh, there was one thing um, I wanted to Go, guys. I gotta go right now, so, um, All see right. you later. Sure. I was gonna end it right here, too. Um, okay. See you, Nemesis. And that was Nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. All right. So, uh, I think we're gonna end it here, considering it's just me and Dylan <laughs> left. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This, this is kind of like a pod. This is kind of more like a podcast of anything. So we're probably, I, I kind of start, I kind of want to start doing podcasts. Don't like, give it and, away. Shut up. <laughs> um, I want to start Flavors. doing, <laughs> I want to start being, I want to start doing like podcasts and stuff, you know, That's a little, we'll probably do more of this later on if they want to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. No, thank you, Alex. I mean, not Alex, Dylan. You're welcome. And thank you, Next. Alex, when you watch this video. Um, yeah, these are two great guests I like to have. Um, I will have an update later, so look out for that. If I already post it, then I already post it. But yeah, so we we all gotta go right now. I gotta actually go clean a bit. And the Dylan, I think I don't know what he has to do. What you do? Yeah, I actually also have to clean. Oh, okay, all right then, you guys. So we'll see you guys in the next video. And just as bad, all the depth series or tournaments are coming soon. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Drive safe. Oh, they coming back to the newest slide. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, do it all blue to pieces. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, pieces blue man. Oh.